Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome okay, everybody guys, let's take a look at the gold market. So yesterday when we talked about the euro, we also have covered a major driving factor of this week, mostly the political one. So this is Brexit, this is new turn in the United States and China relation, at least how it was presented in the news and headlines. So and the, 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 another driving factor that uh, was not actually uh, signed by uh, news, uh, it's uh, changing in the policy of the Federal Reserve in relation to its balance sheet. So we think that's very important, although it was a bit silenced news because it was not announced very wide compared to what uh, were announced on the Brexit, on the United States-China negotiations, but still we think that is really strong driving factor. So uh, all this news mostly uh, stands negative, uh, moderately negative for the for the gold because this is this leads to some relief in the tensions as between United States and China, as between the Europe and Great Britain. So uh, that has some negative effect for the gold. At the same time. Uh, on the horizon, we, we have the coming October meeting by the Fed, uh, where we now expect the rate will be cut again. Uh, also, the recent statistics that we've gotten last week, we talked about it was negative, and all this stuff should support the gold market. And uh, by the price action on the gold, and see what, what we see right now, it means that gold market by itself can't set the direction, because the overall fundamental factors that we have are too mixed. From the one point of view, market can't proceed higher upward action um, and, and stands very close to the previous top. At the same time, it, and it doesn't drop to the major retracement because the driving factors that we have are not as strong as to trigger the significant drop in gold. So uh, it actually makes gold to stand in some semi-position where it stands not at the retracement, neither in the retracement nor in upward continuation. Uh, that, in turn, leads to two types of the price action. First of all, market starts to form more narrow swings day by day, and we're all better to say week by week. So, it, And second, it makes very difficult to trade market, especially on the daily chart, because uh, as a result of this narrowing of the price action, is uh, just eliminating of any valuable patterns. So when you do not have the price swings, you do not have the patterns. So only things that we have in some set setups on the infraday charts, but they are very short term and doesn't suit to everybody. So uh, for the daily traders, we could say only one thing that we talked previously is that it seems that we have to wait a bit more because right now on the daily chart, we do not see anything valuable. The one thing that probably makes sense to mention here is uh, kind of the wage type of price action. So you could see here, I marked in this chart, that here we see by the swings kind of the wage is forming, which potentially is bullish. So uh, at least by t technically the falling wedge is usually the bullish pattern, especially when it stands up with strong upward action. And that in general corresponds to our view on the weekly chart, that market still keeps chance on the forming double repo, but for the, to do this, market has to move higher and form second top of this pattern. So it means that wedge should be broken up. And uh, in general, the falling type of the wedge is suggested, particularly the possible upper breakout. From that standpoint, uh, we have something here and on a weekly chart. At the same time, take a look. We have valid grabber that has been formed two weeks ago, although the price action very slow and choppy, but still market is moving in the direction of the grabber. It targets then below these lows. Second, our reversal session that we talked about on Thursday and Friday, well, actually has worked because indeed on Friday, on uh, this news that we have discussed, our market has dropped a bit more. But these fundamental driving factors are too weak and uh, mostly emotional. We do not see the 
reasons to suggest that they will have uh, long-lasting effect. We have talked about the detail in our recent weekly report that we prepared yesterday. There we talked in details what we think about the Brexit news, what we think about United States-China news, what we think about the recent uh, statement of the changing of the Fed balance sheet. So, and all these factors, they are there very, very loud and promising by the headlines. But if you'll take a look at the core, so they actually has very weak relation to the headline. So some announcement, some rumor, something, somebody said something, but uh, in, in the core, you do not see no agreements, no, uh, some, uh, no details of any agreements, and you do not see the resolving of the major problems, for example, around the Brexit. So where the border between the European Union and Great Britain uh, will be, I mean economical border. Uh, now they exclude the chance to make the border in Ireland, but it means that the border should be in Ireland Sea, which splits the current economical space by, of the Great Britain in the two parts, which is a disaster for the country. So, uh, and the, all these nuances, if you know them, uh, really make you doubt on the real achievement of this announced news. So, and, and that makes, my, makes us think that uh, it's too early to make the far going conclusions that everything can become better and market is coming to a resolving of these big problems. I mean, on Brexit, on the, some relief in the United States, China, uh, negotiations and uh, relationships. And uh, market reacts accordingly. So we have some reaction by the emotion, by the psychological reaction, short term speculative shaking the boat. But at the same time, this reaction is very small and uh, doesn't lead to some significant drop or some setting a new direction. So it was just reaction inside of the previous swing. So that all the stuff makes difficult to trade gold right now. So our suggestion is to better to wait. Uh, if you trade on a daily chart, it's better to wait and see what really will happen. Because currently, we do not see any available setup on the gold on the daily chart. On the intraday charts, we probably could advice to follow the same thing that we talked about already. So if you do not want to sit on the hands and still plan some trading on the gold market, try to use two things. First of all, take trades at the significant support areas. Second, try to get the pattern on your back. That at least provide you some protection and give you some odds in your favor that you will be able to move your trade and uh, riskless by the moment you stop at the break even. For example, what we have here on the forward and from chart market has formed a uh, tri uh, triple two buy right at the 618 support, completion the OP. Uh, currently, in the current background, the current environment, it's very difficult to say what really will happen. Whether the market will reach just minor target around this area, it's around 15, even 1495 with a minor pullback, or it will be for the upward continuation. But if you take trade at the significant support with the triple two on your, on, on your back, that give you a chance that market will move slightly higher just as a technical reaction on the strong support. And you will move your stop to the break even. And then you will be free in your decision. You could do everything what you want. So uh, only following these tactics could make your trading on the gold market right, right now relatively safe. Of course, it doesn't guarantee the total uh, success, but that is necessary uh, protection. This is necessary uh, risk control uh, measures that you need to apply. Because currently taking the position in some point without uh, levels, without patterns, it could be really very costly. So that's our view on the gold market right now.